Um, well, it's kind of stopped now, but... OK, um, so I'll start with the school side of things. Throughout my year at, years at primary school and secondary school, it's been there. It started in year six. Most has been a few girls that have been doing it. Um, with a particular girl. But it's mostly boys, to be honest. Um, if she was given the chance to go shopping and go and play football, she'd choose football. Um, and football quite a lot is seen as a boys kind of sport. Um, yeah, it's. I've been playing football since I was seven. Yeah, it's just a bit of an issue with the football. Um, boys in particular would um, tease her about her glasses, uh, call her cartoon characters. Um, they just called me names like lesbian, um, just kept taking the mickey out of me all the time. In secondary school, really, it was mostly girls because I was I was obviously I am a girl she was then being bullied well it wasn't exactly violent it was just kind of angry it was only until about a month um to the end of the season that she actually came home with a black eye it wasn't like punching or kicking or anything like that it was just trying to get them away from me and just and when we spoke to the club the club said they would deal with it they didn't do a thing um, but mum and, and my dad, they've been really helpful with everything. She's had to endure. None of us would want that. They just didn't get that I didn't want to do everything that they wanted to do and didn't want to carry around a bag, like the most stylish bag. Um, by the way, I am... She's not a traditional girl. Um, she's short hair, football, sporty. Most of her friends are boys. Um... Well, it's kind of stopped now, but... Looking back at it, I actually have quite a lot of guilt um, about not pulling her out more quickly than we did. Um, she was in a situation where she she's an elite footballer. I don't know whether I said, but she's she's probably... Um, she's quite humble about what she what she does, but she, she plays football at an elite level. Um, so, elite. And with... Um, and unknown to me and her dad, she hid it from us. What we'd found out, and, and she was going to and fro from school with a girl, and unknown to us, she was being teased and got at in the car by this girl and her dad. And then when they got to football, she was then being bullied um, in the corner and then being told that she's, who does she think she is, thinking that she's better than anybody else and, and all that sort of thing. But the one thing that was really dodgy at this certain club was that the coaches didn't do anything about it. They saw it happening, but they didn't do anything, which is one of the reasons why I left there in the first place. Yeah, it was just kept calling me names and taking the mickey. And I told the manager, and she didn't do anything about it. And so I told the coach, and she didn't do anything about it. So I just left. Can I be honest? The dad? I'd like to punch his lights out. <laughs> He's had a lifetime of behaving like that and what makes it worse is that he was a policeman. And I just think, oh my God. Um, he still, I can I can feel myself getting crossed now, getting a, a little bit shaky just thinking about him, endorsing that sort of behaviour. Um, so for him, actually, if I'm honest, I never would. I never would, but I'd like to punch his lights out, <laughs> to be very blunt. And that's that's not my nature. I probably never would. If if I was in a situation where I could, I probably still wouldn't. Um, but now they've all sort of shut up because they've sort of realised that I'm a lot more confident than I was before. And, yeah, ever since year eight, I've been a lot more confident in my in myself. I'm happy that she's happy. Um, oh, we still have our, um, our typical teenager stuff, you know, tidy your room and get on with your work. Uh, I'm thrilled that we've got our um, normal gobby, gobby? Uh, self-confident, self-esteem, wonderful young lady back.